Okay. 956 and 1 10 times 10. And I will show you on how to do that. Okay, so you put, you, you shift the, the, the numbers one place because they're, it's times 10. So if it's times 10, then you shift it one place. And if it's 100, then you shift it two places. And if you shift it, and if it's three, 1,000, you shift it three places and so on. So, if it's 956, 110 times 10 equals 9,561. 395 divided by 1,000 is, is 395,000 because you move the digits, each digit over three place value places to the right because there are three zeros and 1,000. Go ahead. 956 and 1 tenth times 10 is 9,561 because um, 10 has one zero, so you shift over one place value because um, the zero is um, has a 10, so um, you just shift it over. And what's your answer? Um, 9,561. Okay. okay, so we're gonna multiply 23 hundredths by 100, and so every time you multiply, you have to shift over to the left because, and by the value of how many zeros you're dividing with, with by a power of 10. So, so, I, so it's by, it's multiplied by 100, so you have to move over two places, which, because of the two zeros in 100, so you have to move two places, and all the other digits follow, and then so we don't need the zero, so I got the answer of 23. I choose number 25, and it is 97 and 6 tenths divided by 100. So how we do this is you're going to shift the digit to the right two times because there are two zeros in the number and you move the digit over two spaces each time and you get 976 thousandths. Well, I'm gonna do number 16. On number 16, I have to do eight and 15 hundredths times 10. Now when you do um, eight and 15 hundredths times 10, all you have to do is move the digits one space depending on how many um, zeros there are on the power of 10 number. So for example, 8 and 15 hundredths by, um, times 10 would be 81 and 5 tenths because you would move the, di the digits once. So here, I'll explain, you move it once like that. So it would be 81 and 5 tenths. Okay. I'm going to be doing 956 and 1 <coughs> times 10. So what you do is, depending on how many zeros there are, one zero you sift to the left one, spa one um, space. So for this, I'll sift over one space because in 10 there's only one zero. So my answer of this is 9,561. 813 divided by 1,000. So how to do this is that 1,000 has three, um, is the third power of 10. So we shift the number three times to the right.
One, two, three. And your answer would be 813 thousandths. I'm doing 45 and 3 tenths divided by 10. So to do that, you have to shift to the right because you're dividing. So you shift fo uh, you shift to the right one space because there's one zero in the 10. So you shift to right one space for every number, and you got four and 53 hundredths. So I'm going to be doing 956 and 1 tenth times 10. So you have to move each digit one space to the left because in 10 there's only one zero. So it becomes, it becomes 9,561. 33 and... 164 thousands uh, times 10. And all you, what you do is you shift. Since there's one zero in, in 10, you shift over by that one zero. So then it'd be 331 and 64 hundreds. Okay, so I'm going to do 576 divided by 100. And so what you have to do is you have to move it over, to, you have to move each digit over two spaces because there's two zeros and one hundred. So you move it over to the, to the right, each number two, each digit two places. And you get five and seventy-six hundredths. I am doing um, 956 and 1 10 times 100. So what you do is you shift the digits over um, one place for every zero there is in your in the in the um, in the power of 10 number. So if 100 has two zeros, we're going to shift it over two places. One, two, three, zero. Okay. And the number is now 95,610. OK, so I'm doing 3 and 7 tenths divided by 10. So what you do, you move to the right because you're dividing. You divide, move to the right as many times as there are zeros in the power of 10. So if it's 10, you move once to the right. So you get 37 hundredths. 956 and 1 tenth. And since there is 1 zero in 10 times 10, and since you have one zero, you, you shift it one to the right one time. So it becomes <coughs> 9,561. So the problem is um, 43 ten thousandths um, times 1,000. So the, so 1,000 is 10 to the third power, so we're going to move three places. One, two, three. So the product is four and three tenths.